Greg here at AEMC Instruments. I'm our technical product training manager, and today we're gonna to talk about soil resistivity testing using the model 6472 from AEMC Instruments. Now let's cover the test procedure quickly before we get into the instrument piece. We're doing a winter alpha soil resistivity test. The winter method requires us to space our probes equidistant from each other at a spacing, horizontal spacing, that is equal to the depth at which we are trying to test. So I've laid out our test probes in a 10 foot configuration. One is each one is 10 foot from the next. The next thing I've done is observed a specific depth at which I've inserted these probes. Each one of these probes is inserted into the earth equal to or less than six inches. That six inches comes from a 5% of my horizontal spacing between my probes. Now this rule or code or, or standard changes depending on which document you may be using that is dictating your soil resistivity testing method. So understand that you may see a different value than 5%. We're going to observe that 5% because it's the most conventional uh, value that we've seen uh, used for this type of testing. Now, once I begin this test by pressing the start button on the instrument, what's going to happen is the outer two pins or elect test electrodes are going to apply a voltage and allow test current to flow through the earth circuit that we've created using our test leads and our electrodes. That test current will flow perpendicular, horizontal, and vertical to the test field that we've created. That density of that test current between my two inner probes will develop a voltage drop, and that voltage drop will then be representative of the resistance value from zero to 10 feet between my two inner test electrodes. So I've spaced these at 10 feet. I will have a 10 foot test or a zero to 10 foot test, I should say, assuming the soil is homogeneous from zero to 10 feet, I'll get that average of the soil's resistivity. So let's go take a look at the instrument and what the test is gonna net us today. So here we have the model 6472 from AEMC Instruments. This is a multi-function ground test instrument that's capable of a number of different types of ground resistance measurements. They could be as simple as a point-to-point -point measurement all the way out to the soil resistivity measurement that we're about to take today. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and dial it up to the row setting. This is gonna be used for our soil resistivity test. But let's talk about a few of the features of this instrument. It has an output voltage of up to 60 volts at a test current of up to 250 milliamps. One of my favorite things about this instrument is its frequency abilities. This has an auto mode, for most of your testing, this is going to be the most appropriate mode to operate this instrument in. Just know that it may switch its test frequency from 128 hertz to another frequency that may be more appropriate if noise is detected in the soil that is under test. But that frequency function allows us to test up to 5,000 hertz. For a soil test, that may not be necessary, but for other ground resistance type measurements, that may be the difference between a really good and a really bad measurement overall. Back to our resistivity testing though, I've dialed my instrument up to the winner row setting, notated here with the row. And also on the screen, I have a small W next to the row symbol, or I like to refer to it affectionately as the fancy P. 
Once I start the test, or to start the test, I should say, I'm gonna press and hold the test button, allow the instrument to beep twice. This allows the instrument to compensate for the lead lengths that are being used to ensure that I perform the most accurate test possible. This test takes about 10 to 30 seconds on average to run, and that test length is really gonna be dictated by the resistance incurred at the stakes themselves. So it's hard to predict exactly how long it's gonna take. Here we're producing a resistance value of 6.4 ohms. Now keep in mind, this is a resistance value representative of the soil's resistance between the two inner probes. Now I've said resistance and not resistivity because I haven't applied that volume measurement represented by the horizontal spacing of these probes in the winter alpha configuration. To calculate resistivity using the 6472, I'm gonna simply press the second button which enables the other second functions on the instrument, such as distance here in yellow. I'm gonna press the distance button. I'm gonna arrow over once to enter in 10 feet. So you can see now I have a resistivity of 122 ohm meters for this 10 foot, or as I should say zero to 10 foot soil resistivity measurement. That's soil resistivity testing using the 6472 from AEMC Instruments. Just that easy. So as you can see today, our soil resistivity measurement netted us a measurement of 122 ohm meters. Now keep in mind that's meters and not centimeters. Oftentimes, resistivity data is requested in ohm centimeters, not meters. Your results may vary depending on what you're using this data for. Today, we've taken this simple zero to 10 foot measurement to get an average soil resistivity down to that 10 foot depth. Now I can take this data and simply calculate the resistance to earth of a 10 foot driven electrode if it were installed in this soil. And it's important to keep in mind this soil, not soil that may be down the street or at another site. It's this particular soil. This is an apparent resistivity test for this site. You can use our calculators found on AEMC.com to calculate that resistance to earth if that's what you're after for your soil resistivity testing. And this test could be used for all sorts of different purposes, of course. We could use this for the design of a facility or just the simple resistance to earth of a driven electrode. I'm Greg with AEMC Instruments. Thanks for watching Measure Up with AEMC Instruments.